now let us solve some of the problems on profit loss and discount let us solve some of the problems on profit loss and discount right now sir we had that 13 formulas we understood that the 13 formulas were written but we also understood that it is not that much important for our problem solving now we will understand why it is not that important for our problem solving everyone listen carefully sir and i am telling you at the start of the class itself first 8 to 10 questions question number 1 to question number 8 or 10 they are all very basic questions and intermediate level questions but these are very high important questions that means if you do not know how to solve these questions you will face a lot of problems or difficulty in solving some other questions right please pay complete attention in building your basic strong otherwise you might fumble listen carefully sir i am drafting the first question everyone please see the question everyone please see the question your question is your question is prashant sells his watch for 180 rupees at a profit of 20 percentage what is that they have given in this question prashant sells his watch for 180 rupees that means selling price is given as 180 rupees selling price is given as 180 rupees at a profit of 20 percentage profit percentage is given as 20 percentage your question is at what price did prashant purchase the watch at what price did prashant purchase the watch they are asking you to find the cost price selling price is given profit percentage is given cost price we need to find very very easy question but i don't want my student to go directly and jump to a conclusion that let me start using profit percentage formula sp minus cp by cp into 100 percentage do not jump to the conclusion and keep on by hearting formulas everyone listen carefully sir profit percentage is nothing but 20 percentage that is the reason we discussed fraction to percentage from the last 30 minutes 20 percentage is nothing but 1 by 5 now I already told you this statement, your denominator is always your initial value, denominator is always your initial value, out of cost price and selling price, initial thing that will happen is cost price, that means denominator 5 represents cost price, according to the fraction, according to the fraction, cost price is 5 rupees, according to the fraction, cost price is 5 rupees, if it is profit percentage, numerator is profit that means numerator 1 represents profit according to the fraction cost price is 5 rupees profit is 1 rupee i took the pen for 5 rupees i i want to make a profit of 1 rupee that means i need to sell this pen for how many rupees i need to sell the pen for 6 rupees then only i will have a profit of 1 rupee but according to the question selling price is not 6 rupees Question says selling price is 180 rupees. According to fraction, it is 6. According to question, it is 180. 6 is becoming 180. 6 into which number is 180? 6 into 30 is 180. 5 also multiply by 30. 5 into 30 is how much? 150. Answer for my first question. Without using any variable or formula, I will keep solving all the problems. It is 150 for my first question answer for my first question is 150 kindly avoid commenting in the live chats with your answers unless and until i ask you kindly avoid it if you have got the answer you can cross check it right after the problem is completed and make sure that if you have done a mistake please correct the mistake making the mistake is not a mistake repeating the same mistake is a mistake kindly take care of it sir i believe that first question is very clear for you Cost price is 150. Second question. Second question. Now please see the second question. Your second question is Buana purchases 10 articles for 3 rupees. That means it is given that a person purchases 10 articles for 3 rupees. What is the meaning of purchasing? Purchasing is nothing but cost price. That means cost price of how many articles it is given? It is given as 10 articles. Cost price of 10 articles. It is given in the question as how much? It is given in the question as 3 rupees. It is given in the question as 3 rupees. It is given that Buana purchases 
10 articles for 3 rupees. Cost price of 10 articles is 3 rupees. Next statement says and sells 15 articles for 4 rupees. That means selling price of 15 articles. It is given in the question as how much? 4 rupees. Find her profit or loss percentage. Find her profit or loss percentage. Now, all these basics are extremely important, sir. I will come back to all these basic level questions in my difficult question also. Please underline my statement right now itself. Whenever you get a statement like this, whenever you get something like this, always express it in the form of SP by CP. Why SP by CP also you will understand in two minutes. That means second equation I can write it as 15 SP is equal to 4. First equation I can write it as 10 CP is equal to 3. I want to express it in the form of SP divided by CP. That means I will divide one by the other. If I divide 5 into 3, 5 into 2. So SP by CP will be equal to if I cross multiply 2 into 4 is 8. 3 into 3 is 9. It is 8 by 9. Sir, why did you express it as SP by CP? Because I already told you that. I already told you that denominator should be initial value which is nothing but CP. Make the CP come in the denominator. Now, the advantage of expressing like this is the question is find the profit or loss percentage. Suppose for example, suppose for example, suppose for example, profit percentage formula I will use. It is SP minus CP divided by CP into 100 percentage. It is SP minus CP divided by CP into 100 percentage. This can also be written as SP by CP. This is nothing but SP by CP minus CP by CP is how much? It is nothing but 1. It is nothing but 1 into 100 percentage. If I substitute SP by CP is 8 by 9. It is 8 by 9 minus 1 into 100 percentage. 8 by 9 minus 1 is minus 1 by 9. Minus 1 by 9 is nothing but negative sign represents loss percentage. 1 by 9 value we already know it. It is nothing but 11.11 percentage. That means answer for this question is 11.11 percentage answer for this question is 11.11 percentage but if you observe this particular explanation i used a formula i wrote one step for formula again i simplified that in the second step i substituted in the third step again i got a value then converted back to the original value i wasted five steps in getting the answer as 11.11 that is the reason i kept on saying you that Kindly avoid using formula to solve our question. How beautifully, once you make it SP by CP, how beautifully within one step you can get the answer. Listen carefully, sir. I told you very clearly that SP by CP is 8 by 9. That means denominator is always your initial value. Make the denominator as cost price. That means denominator here is 9. Write down the same 9 once again. Don't change the denominator. Don't change the initial value. Same 9 once again, please write it. Now see here. What is your numerator? 9 is becoming 8. 9 is becoming 8. That means there is a decrease of how much? There is a decrease of 1. Decrease is nothing but loss percentage. 1 by 9 is nothing but 11.11 percentage. Directly within one or two steps after you write SP by CP, you will get the value. Wherein you will get it after some steps by using formula. I believe that the idea is very very clear for you people. Kindly avoid using formula is my only request for you people sir. Prakash Sarma, you can make the article equal, you can make a price equal. There are so many methods, sir. I am teaching you one of the method which will simplify a difficult question to the most easiest way possible in my upcoming questions. I will definitely not think about today. I will definitely think about my future. That means with one question what I am solving, I will not make it simple. I want this explanation to help you in solving other difficult questions in a simple way. That is the reason I am teaching this method. You want to make equal article equal, you can make it and solve it. Both are same method, sir. You can apply that method also. Now, before everyone keeps asking, I will 
there is a number here at the bottom that is my number kindly do not keep asking me to add you into the whatsapp group i will add you into the whatsapp broadcast you will get an sms like the way students in the whatsapp groups also will get do not worry about it vamshi why we have to add in first question numerator and denominator why we have to add in first question numerator and denominator is very simple right vamshi what is the first question see here vamshi this was the first question profit percentage is 20% 1 by 5 cost price is 5 rupees vamshi profit percentage is numerator is profit it is 1 rupee selling price should be you purchased a shirt for 500 rupees and you are selling that shirt for your friend with 200 rupees profit will you add or will you subtract you will add right profit percentage means increase increase means add decrease means subtract just keep listening just keep listening i will take you to the next level all together and i am still in basic questions basic intermediate advanced is what i want to make sure that it is clear for my students next question another question of similar kind another question of similar kind listen carefully sir if the selling price of 10 articles selling price of 10 articles is equal to is equal to cost price of 9 articles find the profit or loss percentage selling price of 10 articles is equal to cost price of 9 articles find the profit or loss percentage i told you that express it as sp by cp keep this sp on the left hand side cp if it comes to the left hand side it comes to the denominator similarly can i say that can i say that with sp 10 is multiplied with, with sp 10 is multiplied, multiplied. That, that is possible, possible only when, when you keep, keep that 10 on the, the right hand side denominator thereby when you cross multiply it will become 10 sp 9 is multiplied, multiplied with cp so 9 so should be the numerator here now again don't use any profit percentage or loss percentage formula simple logic denominator is a 10 write down the same denominator 10 is becoming 9 10 is becoming 9 that means there is a decrease of how much decrease of 1 decrease represents loss percentage 1 by 10 represents 10 percentage answer for this question is 10 percentage loss answer for this question is 10 percentage loss chalo sir let us start the class let us not waste too much of time i'll just explain one more sim- one more last time what we had discussed in our previous classes with a small example for all the new students cost price is 180 rupees selling price is 130 rupees profit percentage is how much don't waste your time by applying profit percentage formula i want to find profit percentage numerator is there denominator is there denominator will always represent your initial value you have cost price with you you have selling price with you cost price is nothing but the initial value first thing that will happen in any transaction is cost price that should come in the denominator write down this 80 in the denominator 80 is becoming 130 what should be the numerator 80 is becoming 130 that means there is an increase of 50 from 80 there is an increase of 50 increase represents profit percentage 5 by 8 i already thought it in my first class and also in my second class 5 by 8 percentage equivalent value is 62.5 percentage people who don't know how 5 by 8 is 62.5 if you are new student who missed out my first two classes of profit loss and discount kindly ignore how 5 by 8 has 50 62.5 at this moment suppose for example suppose for example cost price is 80 rupees selling price is 50 rupees i am having loss in my transaction what is the loss percentage loss percentage is denominator is always your initial value write down this 80 in the denominator 80 is becoming 50 that means there is a decrease of how much there is a decrease of 30 denominator always will be your initial value numerator is always how much increase is happening or how much decrease is happening if it is increase it is called as a profit percentage if it is decrease it is called as a loss percentage 3 by 8 convert back to percentage which i thought in my first two sessions of profit loss and discount as 37.5 percentage i believe that 
the idea is very very clear for you people i believe that the idea is very very clear for you people i believe it is clear first comment on this section before i move on to today's class next now this is something which i had discussed in my previous classes also now see here sir suppose for example suppose cost price of eight articles is equal to selling price of three articles cost price of eight articles is equal to selling price of three articles find the profit or loss percentage find the profit or loss percentage i told you whenever you get something like this always express it as sp by cp always express it as sp by cp that means in simple language sp by cp is what i need to express it as with sp3 is multiplied write down 3 in the denominator because when you cross multiply sp will be multiplied with 3 with cp 8 will be multiplied so write down 8 in the numerator that means initial value is 3 write down the same 3 in the denominator 3 is becoming 8 3 is becoming 8 that means there is an increase of how much there is an increase of 5 increase is nothing but profit percent 5 by 3 convert back to percentage i believe the idea is clear these are all some things i am explaining one last time i am explaining one last time because of very much new students who are joining to the class on a daily basis because for our, to listen to our classes right one last time i am explaining for each and every student which i did it right now sir right i might not repeat it again and again and again people probably if you have missed out you need to listen to my previous classes and then come to the class for better understanding sir that is the only way where i where you will get clarity on how we are solving the problems in a better way i hope the idea is clear for every student till this point See this next question, sir. A person buys oranges at the rate of 5 for 2 rupees. Buying is nothing but cost price. Cost price of how many oranges? 5 oranges is how many rupees? It is 2 rupees. Always make the right hand side come as the amount value. If it is given as 2 rupees, that rupees should come on the right hand side. The other number should come on the left hand side in the bracket. Simple way to remember. Next it is given that and sells them at the rate of 7 for 3 rupees. Selling price of 7 oranges is how many rupees it is given? 3 rupees. Find the profit or loss percentage. This is exactly similar to your second question what we discussed in case of a Buona problem. There is no difference. Exactly similar to that question. The way of asking the question is different. In this question they are giving some rate and other things for you to confuse. But please do not get confused. Express it as SP by CP. 7 SP is equal to 3. 5 CP is equal to 2. SP by CP. SP by CP is nothing but SP by CP is nothing but cross multiply 5 into 3 is 15 7 into 2 is 14 it is 15 by 14 the meaning of 15 by 14 is denominator is initial value 14 write down the same 14 in the denominator 14 is becoming 15 that means there is an increase of 1 increase represents profit percentage 1 by 14 is 1 by 2 into 1 by 7 1 by 7 is 14.28 half of 14.28 is 7.14 percentage answer for this question is 7.14 percentage i believe that the idea is very very clear for you people